In today's video, fellow experts, we'll take a closer look at a green comet, a rare and fascinating phenomena in the sky. We will explore the science behind the green comet, including its formation and the conditions required for its glow to be visible. So if you're interested in learning more about this mysterious beautiful green comet, then watch the complete video because today we are going to unveil the secrets of celestial wonders. Comet C2022 E3 or Green Comet is a long period comet that is currently on its way to Earth. This is a unique opportunity for astronomers to witness a rare celestial event. The comet's nucleus is estimated to between 1.3 to 4.3 kilometers in diameter. It is classified as a long period comet because its orbit period is greater than 200 years. This means that it takes longer than 200 years for the comet to complete a full orbit around the Sun. C2022 E3 is the first interplanetary comet to pass by the Earth in more than two decades. Since its discovery, astronomers have been closely monitoring the comet's path and its approach to Earth. C2022 E3's orbit is an elongated ellipse that passes through the inner part of the solar system. The comet will pass close to the Earth, Jupiter and Saturn during its journey. The comet will be the closest to Earth on its way out of the solar system, traveling at speed of around 75,000 miles per hour. It is possible that C2022 E3 may be visible to the naked eye for a short period of time. However, this will depend on a number of factors including comet's brightness, your location and the amount of light pollution in your area. The brightness of comet can vary significantly and C2022 E3 is expected to be less brighter than recent comet, Neowise C2020 F3. It is always best to use binoculars or a telescope to get a clearer view of the comet, as they will provide a larger field of view and greater magnification. Comets are generally most visible when they are closest to the sun and are illuminated by its light. C2022 E3 is expected to reach perihelion or a point in its orbit when it is closest to the sun on February 25th. The comet will be at its brightest around this time, so this may be the best time to observe it. Even though this is considered a bright naked eye comet, using a pair of binoculars will definitely help. If you miss the comet on February 2nd, don't fret. The comet will still be viewable with a telescope until mid-February. Green Comet is among the comets which will pass close to the Earth for the first time in 50,000 years. And this comet has traveled around 4.5 trillion kilometers over the last 50,000 years, reaching its closest point to Earth, known as Perigee Point, to then be potentially never seen again. Green Comet is incredibly rare. It most likely derives from the collection of icy body clouds, which are thought to be from the very distant part of our solar system. Said to have traveled from the Oort cloud. It is believed this cloud is giant spherical shell surrounding the rest of the solar system. The distance from the sun to the Oort cloud is enormous, that it's not even described in the units of miles or kilometers, but in astronomical units. Another thing that makes the comet special is its green glow, thought to have come from an interaction between light from the sun and diatomic carbon. When diatomic carbon is excited by ultraviolet rays, it gives off light, giving the green coma surrounding the nucleus of the comet. What is the direction of the green comet in space? From the 30th to 31st of January, it headed near the star Polaris constellation. On the 1st of February, it will then be at its closest point to the Earth, appearing bigger and brighter. It will be then near the constellation Camelopardalis. Finally, on its last days of visibility, the 2nd to the 4th of February, it will be between the constellations Auriga and Camelopardalis. Comets are cosmic snowballs of frozen gases, rocks and dust that orbit the Sun. When frozen, they are the size of a small town. When a comet's orbit brings it close to the Sun, it heats up and spews dust and gases into a giant glowing head larger than most planets. The dust and gases form a tail that stretches away from the sun for millions of miles. We now know that comets are leftovers from the dawn of our solar system around 4.6 billion years ago and consisted mostly of ice coated with dark organic material. They have been referred to as dirty snowballs. The current number of non-comets is 3743. Comet naming can be complicated. Comets are generally named for their discoverer, either a person or a spacecraft. This International Astronomical Union guideline was developed only in the last century. For example, Comet Shoemaker Levy 9 was so named because it was the ninth short periodic comet discovered by Eugene and Caroline Shoemaker 
and David Levy. Since spacecraft are very effective at spotting comets, many comets have linear, SOHO or Ys in their name. So where do comets come from? A disk-like belt of icy bodies exists beyond Neptune, where a population of dark comets orbits the Sun in a rim of Pluto. These icy objects occasionally pushed by gravity into the orbits bringing them closer to the Sun become the so-called short period comets. Each comet has a tiny frozen part called a nucleus, often no larger than a few kilometers across. The nucleus contains icy chunks, frozen gases with bits of embedded dust. A comet warms up as it nears the sun and develops an atmosphere or coma. The sun's heat causes the comet's ices to change to gases so that the coma gets larger. The coma may extend hundreds of thousands of kilometers. The pressure of sunlight and high-speed solar particles, solar wind, can blow the coma dust and gas away from the sun, sometimes forming a long bright tail. Comets actually have two tails, a dust tail and an iron tail, which is gas tail. For more interesting videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.